how do you get from low self-esteem to super godless? That's a very good question. Tell them folks at home, because a lot of folks that little girls, big girls, folks 40, 50 years old, still wrestling, wrestling with low self-esteem. How do we uh, become goddesses, or god or goddesses? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Um, I grew up on the south side of Chicago, um, and it's probably like a lot of different uh, predominantly black neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. There was this whole thing with uh, light skin, dark skin, and so I was born to a, uh, you know, chocolate colored sister, and I was a very light skin child. So like, I met see, your mom. You could see the veins through my eyelids. I met your mom. Okay. Mom's cool. Beautiful sister. Yeah. So, you know, there's this whole historical thing. We, we ruled great nations. We were brought here, uh, worked for no money, and so part of the whole propaganda and breakdown of this group of people had to do with looking at our differences. So historically, we've been made to look at the differences of light skin, dark skin, young, old, fat, skinny, rich, poor, you know, blue collar, white, you know, all these differences. So in my mind, I was light skin, and I got teased for it. Then I looked on TV and, you know, saw people that also didn't look like me. So I just had this whole uh, complex about how I looked. Um, and so I just grew up feeling very ugly because I didn't find anywhere where I felt beautiful. And, and there's for people who are watching this show and they're growing up, they grew up in the 70s like me or the 80s, 90s, they grew up, or they could be a child growing up now. They could feel like even in the 90s, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah. it's 2007 now, wow. I'm too dark. Some people have the complete opposite, yeah. if you will, complex. Where nice. well, they feel I'm too dark. It's crazy. I'm not beautiful because, especially in this society, black is bad and white is good. Right, right. So, well, here's the thing: the way that I came out of feeling hideously ugly. In uh -huh. the beginning of my book, I say I felt hideously ugly for over half of my life. Wow. And so, how I went from that to embracing, accepting, and actually being happy about myself is that I developed four things which I didn't have. And that's when I began to realize who I am. Everybody needs to know who they are. Who are you historically? Who are you culturally? Who are you biologically? Yes. First thing, very important. Yes. Second thing is, why am I here? What do I have to contribute? And everybody needs to feel like they contribute something. Right. Uh, the third thing is that I didn't have what I felt was a sacred community, a community that uh, acknowledged and reminded me who I was and what my gifts were. And fourth, uh, that same community was not affirming. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like if you have in a neighborhood, oh, that's, you know, that's Joe. He's really good at doing shoes. Nobody can do shoes like Joe. Or you have uh, Keisha. Keisha, she does, you know, cornrows like that. So everybody has something that they contribute to the whole thing. And if you don't know what that thing is, then you're just kind of lost. So, you know, at that time, I didn't have those four things. And, um, there's a book I read by Maladoma Somme, The Healing Wisdom of Africa. And it was from that book that I realized that that's what we suffer from. In now say culture. that book again so folks and folks can go read it. It's called The Healing Wisdom of Africa by Maladoma Somme. And he said that we suffer, not just, uh, you know, descendants of Africans here in America, but everybody suffers because they don't have those four things. So based on that, I began to structure everything that I do around those four components. And so if you took those four things and put them into any child's life, any person's life, things start to roll, things start to flow. It's just like, you, you know, when you know who you are, it doesn't matter what Mark says to me. It doesn't matter what anybody says to me. I know who I am, so I stand on that foundation. And, and people learn, they will learn that, these, some of these, these lessons in your book. Yeah, well, the, actually the book came about because uh, in my career as a makeup artist, celebrity makeup mm -hmm. artist. I've worked on a lot of music videos uh, of people that are infamous and celebrated. And uh, there's a piece called Can a Sister Get a Least Fitty Set? So I felt a responsibility that I've seen so much stuff and a lot of things that if people were aware of them could actually enhance their lives, especially the young girls and the young, the young brothers. Um, you know, I've seen too much not to share. So the first part of the book is just basically breaking down um, this wonderland we live in. You know, it really is like Alice in Wonderland. Everything that makes sense is the opposite of what is actually good and healthy. And so the first part of the book is just breaking down the science of how we're um, influenced by one of the most powerful tools in modern culture, and that is 
uh, television, film, internet, magazines, media. You know, and so um, so that's the first part of the book. The, the, the latter part of the book deals with who are you? What are your gifts? Um, what a one superwoman and a goddess is from a historical, biological, um, and spiritual context. 